So my name is Chiara Varazzani. Um, I work in BETA, which is the behavioral economics team of the Australian government. So it's in the office of the Prime Minister in the Australian federal government. Um, my favorite food is blueberries. I love this job uh, and we have an amazing team of more than 30 people. So what we do is basically both providing fast-paced um, pieces of advice to the Prime Minister based on behavioural science, so existing evidence. And then the other thing that we, we do and it's part of our mission is to build new evidence. So we run randomised control trials on specific policy issues and then we provide advice on what worked and what didn't work as well. More and more we are actually working with regulated firms, mm. so with private sector. Um, and so to actually design the best public policy you need to consult with the private sector as well. My talk today was basically um, centered on who we are targeting in our job in government. So the degree, like this degree number zero, is to target individuals. So of course we can target citizens. Uh, and this is the simplest types of nudge that you can do. So sending text messages, for example. Then we move a step forward, we can nudge as well providers. So we just ran a trial um, trying to nudge um, doctors uh, to prescribe less antibiotics, for example. So you, you, you nudge the providers, which in turn will uh, nudge the consumers, so the citizens. And the third level that we are exploring more and more is actually nudging directly regulators. Um, and one thing, so one take of message of my talk is that many times we start, we start pro projects and we try to, uh, with, with the intention of protecting consumers, but in the end, we ended protecting industry from regulators. But it's because it's actually very complicated to be compliant with long and dense regulations. So we are trying to make it easy uh, for industry to be compliant and to have regulations that are easy to be implemented and based on behavioral science. So I think that in terms of the theoretical opportunities that I think it's one of the most interesting on the table right now is to implement what we know about the brain, uh, not only what we know about the behavior. Um, and there's actually a new world opening if you apply as well neurobiology and to try to improve your intervention. Uh, so this is the first thing and other, another opportunity and it's one of the take home message from my presentation, it's really the opportunity for private and public sector to work together. Because finally we are starting to speak the same language, uh, so we should work together more often. In terms of challenges, when there's always, it's, it's easier to find challenges than opportunities. But I will mention two main challenges. Um, so the first one relates to uh, evidence. Um, so we are often encounter the challenge of providing robust evidence for policy. Uh, sometimes like the Prime Minister wants something like two weeks and you know like it's, it's often the case as well in the private sector. So it's, the challenge is that trade-off be between robust uh, academic evidence and just evidence for practice. Uh, so that trade-off is actually challenging. And the second thing that I think is challenging as, for, as a community, it's actually hiring. Mm -hmm. uh, so hiring people and finding the best candidates, the best behavioral scientists for your organization, it's actually quite complicated. Yeah. Um, so we still need to figure out what is like the best candidate 